Hey, y'all. Man, my fan club left. That sucks. How <laughs> many white women should not be able to? Like, it should be illegal for that many white women to leave at one time, right? Unless they're like, I don't join a cause that has nothing to do with being white or women. Uh, that's what we all do anyway, right? I'm an activist on social media. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Any Jesus fans? I had a come to Jesus moment. Uh, I bought a crucifix shaped dildo. <laughs> yeah. Anybody got dildos that like still take batteries? Anybody? No? No, right, like that's, that's old and outdated at this point, right? It's a, uh, like when, some, when you ask somebody if you can use their phone and they're like, don't call China. It's like that and like dildos with batteries are a sign that you need to get a colonoscopy. Because your ass is old. Uh, I'm married, so I masturbate a lot. My husband's a musician, I'm a comedian. We don't have a lot of time between our two artful hobbies. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, and we're busy, we're busy. So I, I do masturbate a lot. Uh, is this Confessions? Uh, is this the TV show Confessions? Is that the TV show? That doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, so I like I don't have time. I really need like orgasm assurance or like orgasm insurance. So I need to know that my gecko shaped dildo is gonna get me there in 15 minutes or less, <laughs> or that I can, um, you know, I can have an orgasm so easy my caveman dildo can do it. <laughs> I could be really progressive, get a flow blow up doll, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Um, or like I've considered getting one of those big tongue dildos. I say it's like big, like you always, why, what makes us want it to be big? Does anybody else like want a big one? Is it just me and trauma? Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, get like a tongue dildo and then I'm gonna get a handlebar mustache to put over it and then get um, like an army helmet to put on top of it and then I'm gonna invite Shaq to come watch from behind the tree and um, I'm gonna save some time on my orgasm. <laughs> Thank you, it was funny, wasn't it? Do you guys ever feel like Britney Spears when you walk into a public restroom and there's like a tilted mirror? No? Nobody's watching Britney Spears on the internet? Some of you are liars. I don't know if you could tell, but I am very interesting. Uh, but seriously, my life is very interesting. And uh, there's these moments in life that make it more interesting, and I like to call them life gems. For instance, uh, when I was a child, I had my mom videotape me pulling my tooth out with a piece of dental floss and a door handle. It did not work. <laughs> my dad had to get a razor to cut my tooth, the string, out. Life gym. Oh. A dirty one, but you know, blood diamonds are a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, or like the time I introduced myself to Dave Matthews because I had just run into him way too many times. And I'm talking like back alley ran into him. Like I was walking down a back alley one day and I literally passed Dave Matthews. Us, we were the only ones in that alley that day. And then I made up my mind if I was gonna run into him again, like what I would say. Cause I made up my mind, I was, he needed to know who I was, <laughs> right? There's only, it was, Probably 20 times I had seen him, guys, okay? Freakish amounts. Um, and I didn't even work for him. Um, and so finally, my moment came. And I went out to him and I said, Hey, little Dave, Dave. I'm Carly. Nice to meet you. And he just looked at me and said, Oh, okay. Life gem. Or, uh, there was a time when I was 17, my best friend was 18, and uh, she could get into the sex shop and I could not, but I had the driver's license. Yeah, damn. Um, so I drove us there, she went inside and bought us two battery-operated 
dildos. Yeah, uh, first one, great experience, right? Um, I'm scheduling my colonoscopy for next week. Um, and then, that, yeah, total life gem. Uh, when I lived like way out in the country, um, I had my neighbors would get in trouble all the time. One of them got arrested in my front yard underneath the pine trees, buck ass naked. And all I could think about was, ow, he's like little wiener. Must be hurting so bad on those pine needles. Life gem, right? <laughs> Wrong, crystal meth. <laughs> It's spooky season. Woo! Yeah. Any other skeletons in the audience excited for spooky season? Yeah. yeah. Um, I live in a cemetery. Yeah. Yeah. Any other ex goths in the audience? Yes, that's right. It's always the people you do, you least suspect. All the goths, man. Like they were so cool in school, and now. Like, you just, you don't know where they are. They're hiding. They're hiding. You have to tell Jesus jokes and see the ones that actually laugh at them to know, yeah, that's right, you used to wear an upside down cross. Yeah, you did. I see you. I see you. You should have, like, an ex-goth party. Yeah, I don't know. We'll invite Lamb of God to play. Like, it'll be great. It'll be a good time. Maybe we'll get some like old dad bands. Um, they'll come play. I don't know. Like I wasn't a goth growing up. I like pretended to dress up one time when I was 14 and all black with purple lipstick, but I did not leave the house. <laughs> There's a photo of it. All my friends were goth though, and like I wore yellow clothing and shit like this. Um, and they would go out to the goth club at night, and then they would call me at four o'clock in the morning. And go, Carly, can you pick us up? And I'd go pick them up. And then they'd be like, Carly, will you take us to IHOP? And I'd be like, yeah. Well, I have boundary issues, so yes. I will take you to IHOP. Thank you. I haven't gone to therapy yet, but I will in 10 years. If you call me in 10 years and ask me to pick you up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I will say no. <laughs> That's just a real conversation. I graduated therapy recently. You can't tell. I know. I know. I graduated therapy recently, though. Um, a lot of trauma, like not just from my childhood, but like I lost five members of my family, like my family and friends, over the past year. And um, yeah, it was bad. But like one of them was my dad, so that made it all okay. <laughs> yeah, here's my impression of him. You're a slim whore. You'll never amount to anything. Here's $100,000. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, another was my grandma. My grandma used to shave her face because when she was 18, she told us all. She was like, I wish my friend Teresa had never told me to shave the hairs on my face. Now I've got to shave every day. And she had a little electric razor battery operated electric razor. It didn't even have a charger. Isn't that sad? She's that old. Her electric razor takes batteries. <laughs> Her dildo did too. So it was cool. Whatever. Um, she had lots of colonoscopies. Um, but yeah, my grandma would shave her face. So after she died to continue the tradition, I actually got her face tattooed on my leg so that I could continue to shape her face. <laughs> yeah, except uh, I'm what my mother calls granola, so grandma has a beard. <laughs> I'm Carly Crickenberger, guys. Come in here.